Hi and welcome back to the course. In this section we will create the other pages. So there are a couple of things we will learn in this section. We will learn how to create the pages for songs followed by the pages for albums. We will also learn how to create the login and the not found page. Last but not least we will also learn how to use the autocomplete component. In this video we will create the album pages. In this video we will create the album index, edit, create and show pages. We also encounter the autocomplete component which we are going to use. And last but not least we will also create necessary methods for each page. Ok now open your editor of choice and make sure the development server is running. Now open the artist.index page and copy everything and paste it in the album.index.view file. Now go to the source directory, pages, artist and open the index.view file, grab everything and copy it and paste it in the albums directory index.view file right there. Alright so go over it and see if we need to change things so find album instead of find artist. Alright so for the album we want to store the title and we also want to show the release date. Okay and instead of using artist we're going to use album. Called get album routes with album ID and album title. Next up, album dot release date and albums dot all of length equals zero. So we're using two columns instead of three. We want to say albums not found. All right, let's change this to albums or albums. Album dot pagination, my bad. Album dot pagination limits, and there we go. Now the name is albums dot index album. Do the same for the artist page. Let's remove the drawer active because we reflected this to the layout file. Um, okay. Now go back to the album index file and scroll down. Also remove the drawer methods. Clean it up a bit. Get album route. Identify the album route. Redirect to create page to the album create page. I'm going to use albums create instead of artist create. Method used to go to the page. That's correct. Set limit also correct. And set query. I need to change this. All right. So save it and let's go to the. Oh, we got an error. What does it say? Cannot be property of and defined. So it's over here. Album not all at length. Okay, give it a refresh. And here we go. So this is working. Now let's do the same for the album show view. So I'm gonna grab the artist.show, grab everything, paste it in there, go to the top and go over it. So if album has been fetched, we want to show album title. Right. And the only thing we need to show is the release date. So album.release date. And we can remove the rest. Alright. Redirect to edit page and destroy album. Cool. So this is the album show page. And we're gonna fetch the album ID instead of the artist ID. And the album title will be hello world just temporarily. And the release date. Let's keep this to 1 January 2000. Okay. The method fetch album instead of fetch artist. Redirect to edit page. We're going to use the albums.edit view. And the album ID will be stored to this.albumID. Okay. And we copy destroy album. Okay. And we're going to use the watch it for album ID. Fetch album. And fetch. 
album. Album. All right. Now, if you're in the browser, let's go to albums one. And here we go. Hello world, release date, and it is working. Okay, cool. So the next page we're gonna do is the create page. So yet again, and it's pretty boring, but I'm gonna grab everything and paste it right here. Go to the top and go over it once again. So create a new album. Create album. Okay. So this one is a little bit different. I'm gonna remove everything from the form right here and add the following code. Right, so I've created the following form. Uh, so we've got a fee form group with a text field inside it with place of the title and we'll bind it to the album the title. Next up we've got a row which consists of two columns. In the first column we have a text field for the release date and in the second one we've got a new component, the autocomplete. We're gonna bind it to the artist.selected property and the items that it's showing is bind to the artist.items. So this is basically a drop down. When you start typing, you'll find results displayed in a list group below the autocomplete. So each time I start typing, the add change event has been called, will be called, and it'll fire the fetch because this is the autocomplete for the artist. Because we can bind an artist to the album. All right, so the placeholder is search artist. And we go down, down, down. And when we close the form, we will close the card body card footer which is basically the same as artist create but instead of the firing the create artist action we're going to fire the create album action all right so this is it for the html and for the javascript let's see albums create so i'm going to remove all of this and add the following code all right we have an album with the title and the release date like we Type the release date. Next, we have the artist. So, we're going to store the selected artist in artist.selected in the select property and the items. So, the other artists that can be chosen will be stored inside the items array. Next up, we've got the method. So, we have create album instead of create artist. Uh, we've got the go back, which will go to albums.index. And we have another method. Um, like we said before, when we change the autocomplete, it will fetch the artist. By the way, so we're gonna create a new method called fetch artists and just leave this empty for now. Okay, and that's it. So let's go to the albums create page, and here we go. So right now it's not working. Um, if I start typing, yeah, nothing will happen. But we will fix this in the next uh, section. Okay. Now for the last page is the artist.edit page. And once again. And for the last page we will do the albums edit page. Um, I'm going to grab the artist edit page. And paste it over the album edit page. Now for the form. Like we did before. I'm going to grab the form from the album create page, the P form, and paste it over the edit form because it's, it's basically the same. All right. Now let's go over it. Okay. Instead of the art album, update album title. Okay. To update album title block. All right. Album title, of a release date, artist.selected, artist.items, fetch artist, and search artist. Okay, go down a bit, update album, correct, and go. Now this would be albums edit, which will receive the album ID instead of the artist ID. Alright, um, title for album will be hello world so the items should be empty and the selected um, ID will be one and the let's see real quick the content John Doe so the drop down the 
was it the autocomplete the selected must consist of an id and the content that's being displayed so in this case the id is one and the content is john doe right cool i'm gonna remove the computer for now and let's go to the methods so we have fetch artist which will be fetch album idea let's for now just console.log it um, we've got the go back method which will go to albums.show and instead of the artist id it will show the use the album id album id all right and we've got update album but there are still a couple of more methods we need the fetch artist method which will be fired if we update the, uh, the drop down, the, the autocomplete method, and we'll leave this empty for now. Oh, and we also need the fetch artist, because this is the artist that's attached to the album. So this will grab the album ID, and let's just do console.log. So, all right, down a bit, we're gonna watch the album ID. And we're gonna call fetch album. And yet again. Okay. Let's save it. And let's go to the edit page. Let's see if it is. Oh, here we go. We got an error. Property or method title is not defined on the instance but rendered. This should be album.title. Fresh. Look at album hello world. And it's working. So cancel, edit, save, nothing is happening. Search artist. That's odd. Perhaps it's a bug in the components. Form. Row, second column, autocomplete. Here we go. 